Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Serial, and welcome to Bramble, The Mountain King, which is a horror game where children must survive Nordic folklore. Looks like the game has actually started already. And... Can I just walk off the edge here? I can. But you're not supposed to, apparently. Despite not dying, it was, in fact, a game over. Nice detail in the world. They got real strong, like, fairy tale look going. Press space to jump. Huh. Hi, Butterfly. How you doing? Oh my god. Hold up. Oh man, game of the year. Let me check. I'm curious if the lily pads move. Yeah, the lily pads do in fact have physics to them. This is an important thing. So a lot of games like to forgo physics on stuff uh, nowadays. So, I'm not one of those people that does like the little small things like that. I understand why a lot of that's been cut, it's not because developers don't want to do it, it's because it, on modern um, systems it's highly draining if they go for 4K and they go for physics on top of it. Right, goodbye little buddy. Thank you. Even if it was just carrying in the stick mode. Hey, buddy. You know, it's nice to see, um, fantastical things not trying to murder me. 
just being fantastical, you know what I mean? Now you ran off over here. No, I see what you're doing, okay. Oh, those are alive. Huh. Friendly? The game's kind of pushing me over here. Don't know. They were supposed to hurt you guys over here. Oh yeah, because I made you sneeze. Can you help me? Thank you. So I mean, look, these people are nice. Ow. What's wrong? Okay, I need to go up there. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Stranger in a strange land. Admiring all these grass physics. Maybe not as much in the grass. Collectible? Left control to crouch. You're welcome. Some kind of song is luring me somewhere. I don't think that's a good thing. That's what I was about to say. So watch your step. So the game is obviously inspired by uh, little nightmares. There's been a few little nightmares like horror games are kind of being teased or in demo mode right now. Um, this is one of the more original, aesthetically ones I've seen in a while. 
Just gonna wanna... Do you grab on Bannock? Yes, you do. Okay. Here's the question. Okay. Not too bad. So we're gonna force that to swing around. So we can actually make that jump. Come on! I keep thinking I'm not gonna make these jumps, but I do. You people don't like light, do you? No, oh, no, they were cool. Almost. This way, this way, this way. No, 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 I almost fell. Um. Uh, this way, would you? Would you kindly? I wasn't gonna get around that one for a sec. No, no, might already be over. Yeah, I think that's... You have to like get on it and then move to the other one real quickly. It's not too easy for me to move around these because I'm playing on a keyboard. You just jump off. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Plays the music, lures people in. That's kind of what happened to us. Knocks them low. Then what? Then I'm assuming you eat them or take their souls. Music again. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I I definitely tied. Hmm. 
Now I can see why they added physics to the lily pads, by the way. Ooh, that's some nice mud physics. That is a hand. So you became stone. I got a little funny right there in that jump. Almost land. No, we're almost in the mud. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna go back. I, I'm, I'm morbidly curious if you kept following us, ever like it stopped you right there. Okay, no. I just want to see some of the animations, see if they did any for. Uh... Oh, there is animation! What is that? A spear or a stick? Oh, they're- oh no, they're gonna start playing. Oof. I'm curious. Hit me with it. Yeah, it just flattens you. Literally, like the drawing, I said, like, it flattens you. Okay, there's a slight delay when it breaks the barrier. Get up, get up, get up, boy! This tree's gonna break. Wait, boulder! We got time out with the movement of the boulders. Good texture work in this game. One more, one more. No, it's not enough of a run. Wait till the sinking is a little bit better. Oh, no, I went too soon. It hit me on the head, apparently. <laughs> Stopped. Oh, 
I'm not sure if it's a good thing we went back in the water. It's a cutscene, by the way. I'm not controlling this. It's a little hard to tell sometimes. Obviously, we're just watching. Huh. First person. It's the story of the, uh, the player. Got beat up. Start playing so everyone would be forced to dance. So they essentially dance themselves to death. became an apparition of sorts. Everyone bullied me! I'll show them! I'll live in a swamp and eat children! And all this kid just fell into a... <laughs> we didn't quite grab the uh, vines. Not really vines, it's, it's moss, but it might as well be vines to us at this size. Ooh. I guess you don't really grab onto the uh, ledges too well, don't you? You gotta clear them outright. It would be this good time to be grabbed by something surprising me. You grab that ledge just fine. Yep. Dang, that last one was a little narrow. Huh. Now that guy could look at you. You look kind of like a, uh... You look like a very specific titan, if you know what I mean. From a certain manga in anime. In a demo, thank you for playing. So that's it for the Bramble the Mountain King demo. I can mention during my playthrough, uh, you know, obviously it's inspired by Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares has kind of kicked off its own set of horror games. Um, the consistent theme is always you're playing a kid, and you're in a world that's much bigger than you, usually. A lot of these games have taken it very literally, and it's always you versus adults. Like, twisted adults or something. This one has done a little bit something different, and they went with a little more of a folklore angle, so that way... Uh... It's more fitting for why you're small, per se. Gameplay-wise, it is the exact same thing as Little Nightmares, but what's making it stand out is the uh, the aesthetics right now. The setting and the aesthetics. Because I think you can emulate a structure of a horror game. I don't think something necessarily has to hold on to the exclusivity of it. It's just like a lot of horror games obviously emulate, say, the original Resident Evil all the way back on the PlayStation. So when you, when you copy the structure, then you really have to stand out on the setting in your presentation. That, that Then you live and die on that. And so far, this does have a good setting and presentation. There is a risk on the full version, and I've seen this actually happen with these Little Nightmare style games. I mean, if you want to go really older, then Out of This World flashback or some of the... And Prince of Persia, I guess, would be some of the foundations of this genre. But the, 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 the little the little kid in the big world thing, that, that's straight Little Nightmare. Um, but as I was saying, uh, the big risk is that they lose the aesthetics and the presentation part way. 
which is usually caused by the developer trying to get the game out finally, that they weren't able to really put everything they, they're thinking of. So you'll, I've, I've seen quite a few of these, you'll have like a rushed kind of simplified section towards the end. Or like you'll reuse a certain enemy that's just constantly pursuing you or something, like you won't introduce anything really new. Or you'll introduce an area that's so detached aesthetically from the rest of the game that you can kind of tell like, oh, industrial zone, because it's easier to get industrial assets, right? Than it is to say, craft something fantastical. So if it maintains the fantasticalness, if it maintains the style, then you can have a good, a good, pretty good, like, scary, kind of folklore style horror game like this. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play the Bramble the Mountain King demo. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.